so hello good morning everyone so today um, i want to explain about a new topic uh, since uh, a lot of people asked me to show about how to initiate onboarding 2.0 from success factors recruitment management so i'm going to show you that a simple method and which is very very easy to handle and um, but i'm also going to give you some inputs also uh, that uh, when you initiate success factors onboarding 2.0 from uh, success factors recruitment management system right so now um, let us uh, log into the system but uh, one thing i want to tell you before you are going to initiate that you know the initiation of the uh, applicant from your recruitment management to your onboarding 2.0 and you have to make sure that the candidate or the applicant should be placed in uh, one of the applicant uh, statuses so that uh, you know if the candidate is not placed in the applicant uh, status so you cannot initiate onboarding uh, you know the candidate from uh, to your onboarding initiation is not possible but i'm going to show you that uh, let me click on here recruiting so when you navigate to the recruiting so you need to uh, see that um, you know on the you know rec uh, job requisition page and you can see there is a candidates uh, uh, the column you can see right uh, you can also do it uh, from here the candidates tab at the top of the page but i'll do it from your uh, job requisitions which are already placed here now you can see the candidates who applied uh, you know uh, this particular you know job requisition so when i click on this uh, one of the uh, the candidates available and um, you know all these uh, candidates who applied for this particular uh, job requisition i can see now you are on the candidates tab now you can see this you call it as a, a talent pipeline or you can call it as a application status so now if you want to initiate if you want to initiate uh, the candidate, you know, the initial initiation of the onboarding uh, uh, to your 2.0 from your recruitment management, the candidate should be in one of the application status. That is the first thing. Okay, now you can see here uh, you have uh, uh, you are on the uh, on the onboarding 2.0 uh, status. You know, when you are here, and you can see there are uh, three candidates listed here, and make sure that we are doing it for the the external candidates okay so if you are initiating the onboarding 2.0 for internal candidates so that will become a cross boarding so we are not talking about it i'm talking about onboarding 2.0 for external candidates okay so now here when you see that you can just click on this uh, applicant and now as soon as you click on it the application page is going to open but i want to tell you the initiation of the onboarding is only possible on the uh, application page only but it is not possible on the candidate summary page okay so you have a candidate profile right you cannot do it uh, the onboarding initiation it should be only on the candidate application page but now you see the candidate status here is already there with the status right but you know you can see there is a take action button here and uh, if you see there is an initiate onboarding button but I, i'll do it two ways one is i'll try to make an error and i'll rectify so that tomorrow when you initiate so that you can take care okay but now the simple mistake what we always do and you can see there is a start date field right so what everyone does for example i want to initiate onboarding 2.0 let us say today or 14th of august 2020 but sometimes you don't uh, fill this field and you directly try to initiate it but actually sometimes what happened you enter that start date and uh, without saving it some sometimes what happened by mistake we try to initiate onboarding you know we can see now the system tells you that you are about to initiate onboarding process for uh, taylor ross please click the confirm to continue but now what i have done here if you observe 
I just entered only the start date, but I have not saved it properly. But now what will happen when you don't save it? And then if you try to confirm your initiating of onboarding, so automatically the system is going to show you the error message. You can see we are unable to initiate the onboarding process because the values for the following fields are missing or maybe not mapped. So that is referring to the start date. You can see here. So that is why you can see still you can see the start date. But the problem is you have not saved it properly. So try to save the first uh, the applicant information that about your onboarding status uh, from when you are going to initiate. Okay, so now the applicant is being saved. You can see it became a gray mode. Okay, now you please come here and uh, you please go and click on initiate. But I want to also uh, show you something. You can see in the onboarding uh, uh, portlet, and you can see that it was requested by the admin and the date and the submission status is failed. You can see it. Now, one more thing I want to also verify who is your recruiter. And uh, you also need to verify who is your hiring manager. Okay, so if it is being configured and uh, let me show you. Okay, I'll show you in different method. Uh, the uh, This applicant hiring manager also I'll show you so that he is the one who is going to uh, once the onboarding 2.0 is initiated. The hiring manager is the one who has to collect the information. And he is the one who has to review the data and he is the one uh, who is going to add all your hiring tasks. But there is another shortcut. You can see at the top of the page, right? Hiring manager is a baker. You can see here, but you can also configure here in one of the portlet and which is missing in this application. And at the top of the page, you can see who is a hiring manager for this external candidate, Ross Taylor. Right, so once the application is saved, click on the take action button once again and click on initiate onboarding and then you please click on confirm. So now you can see the onboarding process for Taylor has been initiated. And you can see now please click on it and then uh, you know, you, you, you know, you can see, see still this is uh, showing as a failed status. Huh? Okay, but I'm going to show you don't worry. And um, you know, once it is done, click on this onboarding status. Now automatically, you can see the onboarding initiated initiation status should be success. Sometimes you will see options like canceled. Sometimes uh, you'll see the options here failed. And if it is successfully initiated and on the onboarding initiation status column, you will see the option called status. Now, after onboarding 2.0 is initiated, now what is the next step? The hiring manager is the one that who has to, you know, review the information about your new hire data because the data has to be mapping, right? From your recruitment management to your onboarding 2.0. So that is why if you go back to your home page, uh, this particular admin, automatically you will see the onboarding tile is also going to be displayed and you just scroll down here and you can see there is a onboarding dashboard and you can see uh, you know if there are no onboarding uh, candidates are initiated and you won't find that onboarding dashboard tile on the home page of the particular candidate now you can see the employee right you can see taylor ross and you can see the due and there are no pending tasks and uh, you know now what do you need to do and you can see the hiring manager column and you can see the Jada Baker is the one who has to add your new hire task and there are a lot of tasks you know even for example and I'm going to copy the hiring manager now please click on here as a proxy as a shortcut uh, one moment select the the hiring manager ID and enter in the proxy so now the system is uh, you know going to act on behalf of uh, uh, the hiring manager and now you can see here automatically 
on the home page of the hiring manager you will find a new hire data for review so now the you know, process for onboarding the it is going to start and he is the one who has to uh, assign your onboarding task and he has to uh, add your new hire data and a lot of other things are going to happen and the hiring manager is the one who is responsible for the rest of the things and once everything all the tasks are being assigned and the notification will be initiated uh, for the onboardy and again with all the credentials that he'll be receiving as a notification the onboardy has to uh, you know check uh, the uh, notification in the email inbox and he has to correct uh, uh, you know reset the username and uh, password login and complete all the onboarding tasks so that is actually the process that how it goes on and i hope it is clear to everyone about the process that i wanted to show you that how you can initiate onboarding from your success factors recruitment management to your onboarding 2.0 but this is one method there are a lot of other methods also we have you can initiate onboarding 2.0 for uh, from application tracking systems you can initiate onboarding 2.0 even directly manually also you can add suppose if you are not integrating from recruitment management uh, uh, from your onboarding maybe then how you can add you can add the onboarding candidates manually and you can initiate onboarding 2.0 there are a lot of other methods are there but this uh, uh, topic that which i wanted to explain it is all about uh, initiation of the onboarding 2.0 from your recruitment management i hope it is clear to everyone and uh, so that uh, it helps everyone thank you so much and see you all again next time with another new topic thank you